The American military is working on deploying a new generation of soldiers, but they're different than what you may expect. It really could mean um, the difference between life and death in many situations. This is Bear, short for Battlefield Extraction Assist Robot. Bear was born about three years ago as a research project. It's a remote controlled, highly mobile, and a very strong robot with human like characteristics. The man behind the project says he and his designers developed Bear to rescue wounded soldiers from dangerous battlefield situations. The robot is very, very strong, stronger than human beings, and so in many cases, it's going to be able to grab that wounded person and get them out of there faster than. The, the medic would be able to do. No, it's not superhuman, but more super robot. Bear is designed to go beyond what humans can do. It can maneuver difficult and complex terrain. It can find objects in the darkest of nights through infrared vision, and it can lift up to 600 pounds. Ellen Purdy, director of Joint Ground Robotics at the U.S. Defense Department, says Bear is capable of accessing very hostile environments. This robot can go into really, really tough environments. It can go upstairs, it can navigate around desks and tables and chairs, it can go over rubble. If we can manage to build this technology and mature it to the point that it does everything that we've put in the requirements, then we can reduce the risk to the medic trying to go in and save the wounded soldier, but we also increase the probability that we can actually successfully rescue the person that has been wounded or shot. But Bear could also be deployed to situations similar to those rescuers encountered in the aftermath of the 9-11 attacks. So many of the people that we lost in those buildings were our first responders. They went into the building to try to rescue those that were trapped and were lost themselves. So, you know, you know think about it, I'd much rather lose a piece of equipment then continue to lose lives. Even in the situation where the robot does get destroyed, the great thing about it is you don't have to send a letter home to its loved ones. So we, we win still because we haven't lost more life. So far, the U.S. Defense Department has funded about a third of Bear's costs, which have so far totaled about $3 million. But the super robot won't likely see any battlefield testing for at least another five years. Tim McGuire, the Associated Press.